We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at our Steam Deck as I received a package from Amazon stating that it is a Steam Deck Batacera OS system micro SD card. Now, this is supposed to be a all for one micro SD card that you install on your Steam Deck, and when it's powered down, you hold the volume down button and the power button and boot into Botticera, which is an operating system mainly used for playing retro games. This micro SD card is supposed to come completely loaded with all sorts of games pre-installed and uh, should be a relatively easy install. It's just plug it in, power it on, you're good to go. The operating system has already been pre-configured for the Steam Deck, so the controller should work no problem along with the emulators as well. I think what we're gonna do is go and start with an unboxing of this package I received and installing it onto the Steam Deck and going from there. All right, so here is the envelope that arrived to my home. And so this says uh, Steam Deck Botticera OS system. Retro Game System Emulator. That is really it. It's just this little pouch here. Let's go ahead and get this open. That's it. That's that's everything in there. No little box, no little packaging. Uh, it's just some folded printed paper and the micro SD card. All right, what do we got here? If you think we've done a good job, we would appreciate five star positive feedbacks. If there's any problems, please contact us via Amazon message first and we will try our best to resolve it. Okay, and a little printout here. Just insert this into your Steam Deck when completely shut off and press the volume down plus power button at the same time, holding it for three seconds. Then select the SD card, which should be the third option. Press A and enjoy. Looks like there's a little YouTube guide to do so and how to install Botticera on the Steam Deck for the BIOS and games. Below is some useful information that will make your emulation experience better. To boot into Emulation OS, simply insert the micro SD card into your Steam Deck. Make sure it is powered off. Uh, literally the same instructions, okay? Uh, you should see boot screen, select the SD card, which should be labeled EFI SD MMC card, okay? Keep in mind the Steam Deck is not perfect and sometimes it even has issues loading the boot menu. If you only see a black screen, just hold down the power button for 10 seconds to make sure it's completely off and try again or try booting into normal Steam system, then shut down. This is a normal behavior since the Steam Deck has many capabilities. And down here at the bottom, looks like we got some emulation shortcuts. All right, I got my Steam Deck here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. What we wanna do is take the micro SD card, put it in the micro SD card slot. As it says, volume down and the power button for three seconds. All right, there we go. So uh, you don't hold the power button and the volume down. You just hit the power button and hold the volume down. So only hold the volume. Let's scroll down and push A. I'm gonna go ahead and get this hooked up to my capture card and we'll go through the settings. All right, and here we are with the Botticera on the Steam Deck. Uh, now, real quick, what I first had to do uh, when I first booted this up is I pushed the start button on the Steam Deck, and I had to go down to controller and Bluetooth settings, and I connected a Xbox wireless controller uh, by pairing the Bluetooth device, then coming down here to PlayStation 1 controller and making that uh, the Xbox One. So I strongly recommend you do that, uh, especially if you're going to be connecting this to a TV. Otherwise, just use the Steam Deck controller that is by default uh, in order to work. The second thing that I had to do uh, is the sound was coming out of the Steam Deck still. So I had to go down here to System Settings, scroll on down to Audio Output, and manually put that onto HDMI out. So what all comes with the Botticera micro SD card? As we see here, we have a favorites. We have arcade games, Atari 267800, ColecoVision, Amiga, Commodore 64, TurboGrafx 16 or PC Engine, Nintendo Entertainment Center, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Nintendo GameCube, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Wii, 3DS, Nintendo Switch, which is kind of concerning, <laughs> uh, some ports, some Pi games, the Mega Drive slash Genesis, Game Gear, Sega CD, 
Dreamcast, Neo Geo, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable. Oh, this is interesting. LCD uh, games. That's cool. Then it looks like we have a collection of two-player games and all games. Uh, so, as we see here, the micro SD card is loaded with 26,242 games. Nine of those are favorites, based off the testers, and the most recently played was Mario, Super Mario Odyssey. So let's go ahead and give this a test real quick. Uh, let's try Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, this looks great. Mario. Move the stick around. Cutscenes look great. This is working flawlessly. Something that's interesting here, it looks like that uh, the audio actually got out of sync. Um, huh. So I'm curious how we quit game. I mean, do I push? Oh, there we go. Okay, so uh, I'm on the Xbox controller, so we push the Xbox controller and... Oh, that's load state. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. So Xbox uh, button and the start button uh, got us back out to where we are.
That was the back button. Okay. So I don't know if it's just the game, but it feels like I push over and then it moves over. So there's a slight delay. Oops. Uh, so pushing the Xbox button in X changes the screen orientation, so that's kind of neat. And the Xbox button in Y switches from the big to the small. I mean, it's definitely playable. Um, I definitely would play games more like this uh, because, I, again, there does seem to be a slight input lag. Uh, so I would definitely play games where it's more kind of relaxed. And to exit. Oh, man. And to exit, we just push that Xbox button and start. And here we are back at the... And many of So I know a lot of you are going to be asking what Nintendo Switch games could possibly be on this micro SD card. Uh, I wonder as well, just because uh, <laughs> I I don't I don't really know how they're getting away with selling this on uh, on Amazon. But uh, oh boy, uh, looks like we have Mario Kart Eight, Metroid Dread. Super Mario Odyssey, Super Bomberman, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Untitled Goose Game, and Link's Awakening pre-installed. Uh, that is <laughs> uh, not not good, <laughs> but uh, it's here. Might as well test it out. Oh, that's interesting. So hit the play button and uh, it kicked us back out. Let's try again. Huh, that is not booting at all. Let's try Metroid Dread. Let's see if that one boots. This I could see working because it's kind of like that 2.5D. Uh, but no, that's not booting at all. So Nintendo Switch is a lie. Nintendo Switch is not working. I think this is a good place to call it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. What are your thoughts on this micro SD card being sold on Amazon? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great week, everyone, and take care.